Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Luminar Quick Tip. This one today is about how you can easily and quickly control colors in your image using the HSL filter. Let's get started. Okay, I have this photo from London and this is over by the Tower Bridge. It was kind of late afternoon, a little bit blue hour-ish. And um, I've already made a couple of minor adjustments as you can see here. I've got the Accent AI filter and the Tone filter. I made a couple of adjustments that allowed me to go from that to that, all right, one more time. There's the original, unedited, and there's the current state. So basically what I did is I used Accent AI and Tone to bring up some of the exposure, add a little contrast, uh, slightly darken the highlights and brighten the shadows, basically just evening uh, out the tones across the image. But that's not why you're here. You're here to look at uh, the HSL filter and some of the power that this filter has. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna use the HSL filter twice in this video, so you may not have known this, but if you wanna use a filter again, you can do that on the same layer and you don't even have to go back to the filter menu by clicking add filters and getting the filter. You can just go to the drop down menu and just say duplicate and there it is again. So that's my two instances of HSL. Now, if I had already made adjustments to HSL and then clicked duplicate, the second uh, version of it over here, would have those same adjustments. I don't want the same adjustments. I'm doing two completely different things. So I duplicated it before I made any edits. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do with the HSL filter is to me and to my eyes, I don't really like the bluish color that's sort of coming in on these uh, pavers here. It's a little too blue. It is kind of blue hour, but I don't really want them to be blue. So I gotta look at my notes here. I'm gonna go in saturation. And if you haven't figured it out already, HSL, stands for hue, saturation, and luminance. Hue is basically what uh, sort of shade of the color is it? Saturation is what's the amount of the color, and luminance is how bright is that color. So with hue, you can sort of shift colors. With saturation, you can make them more vibrant and more intense, and with luminance, you can make them brighter or darker. And I do this stuff all the time. It gives you incredible control over individual color channels like the blue in this example. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is, I like some of the colors in the pavers that's kind of the reddish orange. I wanna br uh, not really brighten it, but increase the saturation a little bit. Um, at the same time, over here on the side of this, um, uh, I guess, wall, right? There's a little bit too much yellow and green. So I'm gonna take those all the way down. Uh, and both of those are negative 100, so all that's gone. And for me, there's too much blue here. So I'm gonna take the blue saturation down, uh, you know, maybe by 50 something. And so now these pavers look much more, um, you know, less blue, right? More realistic, and I like that. However, as you've noticed, I've just uh, made these adjustments and they've affected the entire photo. So this is where masking comes in. And that's really where the power of HSL is, and really the power of uh, many, if not all the filters in Luminar and that is that you can mask them in so that they're specifically applied to you know, portions of an image. In this case, I'm gonna grab the brush, and my brush, I'm gonna, with the right bracket key, make it a little bit bigger, and I'm gonna paint this, uh, these adjustments I've made right into this bottom part of the photo. So I'm just gonna do this, and you can always check your mask by clicking there, and of course I missed a little bit, so I'm gonna go back over that, and let's call that done. So there we go, my mask is done, and I can say done. So I still got the blue in the sky, even though I reduced the blue saturation. And now here's the thing, if you wanted um, more blue in the sky, or you wanted to mess with the blues in the sky, you can't do it with this HSL filter because this one is specifically applied to the mask that's in the foreground area on these pavers. So if you look at your little mask uh, picture here next to the HSL, um, label or you know uh, the words or, or the letters HSL and the filter name, um, you can see the black and the white. The black is the part where the mask um, was not applied, that was sort of masked out, if you will, and the white is where you can see uh, the adjustments that you made, so uh, masked in or painted in, if you will. So what people always say like in Photoshop is black conceals and white reveals. And so if you look at this, um, these edits are concealed or not shown uh, in the black area, which is basically the sky, and they're revealed or they are shown in the white area, which is basically the foreground. So um, I can't make any adjustments to the sky 
in uh, this, uh, this use of HSL because it's been applied there. So that's why I have the second one. Now I gotta look at my notes here. What I wanna do is bump up some of the intensity um, of the yellows and oranges. So I'm gonna bump those up, saturation, I'm gonna say 100. Now again, this is applying across the entire photo, but we're gonna change that in a minute. And I'm gonna bump up the blue a little bit. I like that blue in the sky, and I wanna bring it up a little bit. However, um, I wanna change the luminance, right? So the luminance of the yellow, I wanna go really high because I want the yellow in these buildings to really pop, but I want the blue luminance to come down because I kinda wanna darken it a little bit and make it a little bit moodier. So let's say something like that. Now, to my eye, that actually looks pretty good across the entire photo, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna get a gradient mask, and I'm just gonna paint this, and notice I'm coming in at an angle. I'm also gonna compress the gradient zone, and I'm just gonna kinda line this up with uh, where the sky and the water is, so something about like that. And you can see here, you can always check your mask. You can see I've pretty much covered the entire sky and the river, which is what I wanted to do and now I'm done. So now this mask looks to be a little bit, not exactly, but a little bit the opposite of the mask um, that I did before. So I could have copied the mask, but I wanted to do it with a different tool and demonstrate that. So again, white reveals. So the white is in the top of the photo that's revealing these edits, which is a lower luminance on yellow, higher, lum excuse me, on lower on blue, higher on yellow, and then saturation higher on orange and yellow and a little bit higher on blue. So that's showing up in the top of the photo, and it's not showing up in the bottom because as you can see, the black conceals. Um, and that's how it works. HSL is really powerful. You have all kinds of control, and you can even come in on the hues, right? So let me just show you if I wanted to change the hue of the blue, I could do that. Now, I don't want a purple sky, and I don't want that kind of, you know, I don't know, aqua blue kind of sky. I like the blue that it is, but that's the most obvious color, color in this example to show you how the hue works. So hue, saturation, luminance, make it your best friend. It's a great filter. Use it in combination with masking. And by the way, this video was suggested by one of my viewers. I really appreciate it. You know who you are. Um, so if you have ideas and things that you wanna see quick tips about, leave a comment, let me know. Be, uh, you know, be sure and um, like the video and subscribe if you haven't. I got more stuff coming every week. And that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching this quick tip. I'll see you again real soon and Adiós.